Let's make a joyful noise to God. Make a joyful noise to God. Make a joyful noise to God. Praise the Lord. Someone who is happy to be alive today, shout a better hallelujah. Amen. Well, that you are in this church means you are privileged. You know why? The name of this church is Goshen. And you know Goshen in the Bible? That's one place that they had comfort. They had everything that, they, that was good in the midst of bad stuff. Praise the Lord. And of course, you know that in this country at this point in time, uh, like in every part of the world, things are a little bit, you know, you know, uh, not to, with the COVID around the whole world, you know, uh, things are not as they used to be. And particularly in this country, at this point in time, things are a little bit, but because you are in Goshen, it means that in the midst of no job, in the midst of no peace, in the midst of insurrection, you are in a Goshen where there is peace, where there is joy, where there is plenty, where there is progress. Somebody shout another hallelujah. Amen. Well, this morning, I, um, I have the privilege. Well, please be seated for just one minute. Be seated for just one minute. I have the privilege to uh, be back here again um, after a long while. Uh, this, is, this used to be one of my flagship churches. And I thank God that it remains a flagship. In fact, it's a lot, lot better than when we started. You know, the glory of the latter house is now greater, better, more beautiful than the former. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know that as the Lord ministered to me, that today is a prophetic meeting. And that every word of God that comes out to you today, and every word of God that you pronounce yourself today, but it, before you exit from this auditorium, there shall be manifestation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, Usually there are three categories of people in church. Every church. Three categories of people. And when the pastor says, let's just sing a song that you love. The kind of song that people sing aligns them with the category that they belong. So you are likely to find, like today... A group of people might be singing for those who have a lot of challenges, lost their job, relationship is also broken, landlord is threatening, everything is just going awry for them. And such categories of people are likely in church going to be singing, do something new in my life, something new in my life, something new in my life. Today, today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be too late. Praise the Lord. And then you have a second category in church of those who have been in Goshen for some time and things are getting better for them. Um, now they have a job. It may not be the best that they, had, they weren't, but at least they have a job right now. Relationship is going on well. Marriage is not promised, but at least it's, you have someone who is saying, hi, what's up, man? Uh, let's go to Mr. Big. Uh, can, I, can we have lunch? No, things are just pushing up for you. And for those category of people, they are likely to be singing, things are getting better. Things are getting better. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. And things are getting better. Praise the Lord. And then the last category. The last category is, these are the categories of people where pff, the MD 
CEOs. Man, these guys are made already. They are not praying for money. They are not praying for, because they have a jaburata. You know, they live in VGC, Banana Island, these areas where you guys come from, you know. And, um, you know, they, they come to church in a flowing Agbara, you know, when they ask them to do stuff, they just 1,500, you know, not the Shokoto, tini, tini, you know, aha, uh -huh, you know. And then, of course, they come, you just look at the car park, you find them, you find their cars, they're just different. I mean, it's just, it, just, it catches your attention. They come in cars that sometimes you can't even pronounce the name, like Lamborghini. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So this category, when they're in church, they ask them to sing a song, declare that truth, <clears throat> and they come. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. Hallelujah. I don't know what category that you belong to this morning. There are three categories. I don't know. Category one, category two, category three. Now, before you begin to covet the last category that I'm in the last category, when you don't have a job, if you say it is, shall be permanent, you are saying, look, you are going to be jobless permanently. So you, you better just know what category that you belong to. But one thing that I know is that whatever category you belong, because you are in Goshen this morning, this is the last Sunday of the month in the last quarter. It is the last time that you are going to have a negative confession. Amen. Hallelujah. Because things are going to turn around for you. However, I belong to a category. The category I belong to is a category that will praise God in any circumstance. Hello. If you are in this category, please join me. Rise on your feet as you join me to sing. In my life, I see what you're doing. One more time. One more time. I lift my of your name, of your name, I lift my hands in praise of your name. Lord, I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Oh, Lord, I praise you, Lord. I can see. I can see what you're doing. I can see it one more time. One more time.
My father, my father, we worship you this morning. We praise you this morning. Great God, greatly to be praised, greatly to be honored, greatly to be adored, none like unto you. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega, you are the beginning, you are the ending of all things. None can be like you. None can match you. Masse Kalima Santa. Thank you, my Father. Give a praise, Lord. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Whether you like it or not, the people who would have loved to be here, people who would have loved that they can also sing like you're singing. Come out well dressed like you're well dressed. With hope going back home to find lunch or whatever. Things are hard and tight for them. Sometimes it is not because of they themselves but because of the things that the wicked people have done. Some are incarcerated as we speak. Some are in hospital as we speak. Not of their making, but the wicked word have turned them in. And you are standing and I want you to do just two prayer points this morning before we go on. Because our topic is compensate me, oh Lord. There are people who are due for stuff that they, they are not, they're denied. You are due for it, you are denied. And there are several reasons for it. Some can be God delaying because of whatever he has discretion. But if it is because of the wicked, this morning, like I said, is a prophetic meeting. Every wickedness that is directed at you, at your family, will return to wicked. I say it will return to the wicked. In the name of Jesus. David, in Psalm 4 verse 2, Psalm 4 and verse 2, was in a situation that was unpalatable. Last born, yeah. But his brothers are in the army, captains. They get a getting salary. They're enjoying. But this guy, the last born, was thrown in the field to look after animals. What is his, his offense? Because he was born last born? Is there anywhere in the Bible that is a last born should be cattle rearers? Or headsmen? But that's what they made of this guy. And he's like wandering in the bush lion and bear you know he almost lost his life see what he's saying here everybody has a glory he said, said oh ye sons of men how long how long will you turn my glory into shame why it's a shame i'm in the bush i can't go where others are going i have a glory like my brothers but they are making it and i'm in the bush you're asking yourself the same question maybe in your family why is it that I am the one who is suffering the brunt? What's going on in this family? Maybe it's at work. Everybody's promoted and stuff. Things are going on well for them. And you're like, so why is mine different? They make a list of those they want to promote and they drop your name. Why is mine different? What's going on here? Who is responsible? David said, oh ye sons of men. It's not animal. They're human being. Wickedness of, 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 of. You can see it all around in this country now. 
wickedness, kidnapping, raping, you know, a 21 year old just killed a billionaire. <laughs> For what? So this guy said, Oh, ye sons of men, how long? This shame is enough. How long will ye love vanity? Today, there has to be compensation for you. Look at verse 1. Look at verse 1. What it says. He will do. Which is what I advise that you do. He considers his condition. And he says, I have to go to God in prayer. Hear me when I call. Oh God of my righteousness. Hear me. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me. Hear my prayer. How many times has he said, hear me? The guy is desperate. I don't know how many people are desperate this morning. You probably are comfortable with your condition, but it could be better, you know. If you're, if, if you're a thousandaire, you can be a millionaire. If you're a millionaire, you can be a, 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 you know, a, 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 a billionaire, isn't it? Yeah? If you're a billionaire, you can be a trillionaire. There's always space on top. You could get better. Things can get better for you. And he says, hear me, oh God, hear me. Men are trying to obstruct my promotion, my moving up. And this morning, you are going to cry to God also. You are going to say, my father, my father. <laughs> Loud and clear. My father, my father. <laughs> Have mercy on me. Change my narrative. Change my story. Today, oh God compensate me in the name of Jesus. Where I have been putting my labor, where I have been toiling, compensate me. Let my labor not be in vain in my family. Let it not be in vain over my children. Let it not be in vain. Compensate me over my trouble over my children. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Give me reward, oh God, over my children. Give me reward over my marriage. This marriage must prosper. I am fed up Change my narrative. Change my story. In the name of Jesus. I'm tired of the valley. If you're tired. I am tired of the valley. Take me from the merry clay. Set my feet on the solid rock. Please take me from the merry clay. Set my feet on the rock. I am tired, Baba. Oh, I am tired. I am tired. Of the I am tired. Of the oh, take me, Lord. Take me from the I want to move up the space. Set my feet the space. On the solid oh, take me from the marriage. Set my feet on the rock. I am tired. Hallelujah. God bless you. God, you. You are tired. You are moving up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give me Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 to 15. Why must this be happening? David said, oh Lord, men are responsible. Help me change my story. And God changed his story. He went from the bush to the throne. Is that not so? Because he prayed. You are praying something must happen today. Today. In the name of Jesus. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was what? Against you. Which was contrary to us. Jesus took it out and he went to the cross of Calvary. Nailed it and said it is what he finished cannot finish you. I said what Jesus finished on the cross he cannot finish you. He completed the health, your wealth on the cross. You can, sickness cannot kill you. Poverty cannot kill you. Barrenness will not kill you. In the name of Jesus. Look at verse 15. Look at verse 15. In order to assure that your compensation comes, the Bible says, and having spoiled, not will spoil, having spoiled past tense, principalities, and powers. All those in the village that says, no, you cannot move forward. Oh, you go town. No problem. Go. Go Lagos. Go Anisha. <laughs> you will not get anything. You will come back empty-handed. The other principalities and powers. 
Jesus made an open show of them. He triumphed over them. Every negative word spoken concerning you is cancelled. I said they are cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Just like David cried, oh Lord, in Psalm 4 verse 2. You are going to cry also like Isaiah also cried because of my time. Because we have taken about at least 12 prayer points here. But because of our time, I just want to cram things together. Show you people who are desperate. Give me Isaiah chapter 64. Isaiah 64 verse 1 to 2. Another man who was desperate. This is a prophet. A prophet and things were not going on for him. And he says, man, I have to go back to God. And see, see, see how he, see. He didn't just say, um, oh, that you uh, rain the heaven. Look at it. He said, oh, oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens. To rend the heavens is to tear the heavens. Go fire. Bully yako ya. Tear the heavens because heavens must open over you. As we speak, your heavens must open. Prophetically, I speak to your life. Your heavens will open. Things will happen for you. He said, oh, that thou would rend the heavens. That thou would come down. God, come down. I can't handle this stuff anymore. Come down. And when you come down, what will happen? Mountains will flow. Mountains are problem. Every marital problem. Every financial problem. Every, every issue at your place of work. They are mountains. They must begin to flow down. I am prophesying to your life. The mountains will roll for you. In the name of Jesus. Look at verse 2. Look at verse 2. He's still praying. He says, as when the melting fire bonnet. So when the heavens open, mountains will roll. Fire go fall. And it is not just ordinary fire. Melting fire. Even an iron gate they put there. That fire go melt. Up. Hello. Somebody is in deliverance right now. I said somebody is in deliverance right now. He says the fire go burn. And it will cause water to boil. Hello. All this water that is surrounding you here. You know what is inside? Things that are inside. Inside there you have the mummy water. No be so. Inside there you have serpentine spirits. Agents of darkness. That's why some people go to water to pray. They invoke them. They come out. I don't have time to give you testimonies. But there are things there that come out that inhibit the progress of people. You are trying. You are struggling. You are working very hard. But you are not going far. You are not going far. Because of powers that emanate from the water. God says this morning, as you cry to him, your heavens will open. Fire go fall. Water go boil. Mommy, water go die. Serpentine spirit go melt. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Why did this man cry like this? He cried like this because he knew that God had done it before. God did it before for him. That's why he's repeating it. I have seen God move before. It's the reason why I'm quoting this thing. Where did he do it before? Go back, go back to Isaiah chapter 6. Go back to Isaiah chapter 6. Let's see this Isaiah. What thing happened? When he had problems. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Isaiah 6 verse 1. God bless you. The Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah, then what happened? Did he see anything before the death of Uzziah? Man of God, church is not growing. He's praying for people that are not testimony. Ah, what's going on, daddy? What's going on? He began to cry to God. Something happened. The year that thing happened, the Bible said, in the year, that year that King Uzziah died, his eyes opened. Everything closing your vision. Everything stopping you from moving forward. I don't know what's going to happen to them. Now your mouth, you go take to account. God knows what he will do. If he has to paralyze them, he will paralyze them. If he has to make them sleep forever, he will make them sleep. If he has to make them travel out of town, he will travel out. If he go kill them, he go kill them. Anyhow that he's going to do, he is going to do it for you. You must move forward. You must make progress. I say you must make progress. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I cancel every covenant, every ordinance against me 
against my family, against my glory, by fire. I cancel every ordinance against me, every word spoken against me. Mandali Kasanta, Moriboske Masontoria. I cancel it. Everything that is stopping me from moving forward, everything affecting my children, affecting my grandchildren, that says they will not get admission. They have written jump three times. They have no admission. Kilode, others are making it. Why won't I make it? People are buying car. Things are hard, but people are making are buying, are buying car. They are building house. Okay? Look at the whole of Lekki. They are building house. What is it? Why is mine different? I'm tired of the valley. I am moving up. I'm moving up. I'm moving up. I'm moving up. I'm moving up. Do something new in my life. Do it. Do it. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all things. Which means that everywhere that they have written anything concerning you, like that one we read, that an ordinance was written, his blood cleanses. Every negative thing written concerning you, see, ah, Sister Shekoloku Bangoshi, you no go marry like that. You no go bump picking. You no go get you good job. The blood of Jesus will erase them. I say, Akabuemi in the name of Jesus. Cancel in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and say, Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. You speak better things. You speak better things than the blood of Abel. Speak into my situation. This morning, turn my morning to dancing. Turn my morning to dancing. Compensate me with a better story. This morning, turn my morning to dancing. Turn my shame into glory. Reverse my situation. Let me begin to dance like others. I will not mourn again. He turned my morning into dancing again. Lifted my sorrow. I can stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. Come on now. He's done my morning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrow. I can stay silent. I must sing for his joy has come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because of our time, just wave your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. Because this morning, I shall be compensated. Oh Lord, I shall be compensated. Everywhere I have lost ground, I shall be compensated. In my marriage, I shall be compensated. In my business, I shall be compensated. In my family, I shall be compensated. Everywhere I have labored, I shall be compensated. I shall not suffer loss. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Father in heaven, thank you for opening the heavens over your church. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for solving problems this morning. Thank you for the hope you have given us again. Thank you, O oh Lord, because there shall be compensation. We will not live here without getting what we desire. So shall it be. Name of the Father. Name of the Son. Name of the Holy Ghost. Say amen. All right, be seated. Just wave to the altar and say, Lord, I thank you because it's done. To the altar, it is done. It is done. Amen. Praise the Lord. Like I said, I want to thank God and I want to thank my pastor <laughs> and his darling wife. They've been wonderful, very wonderful um, to us. They're my friends. They come in that day, but they're my friends. Praise the Lord. The Lord will continue to promote you. You are on the line for promotion. You will not lose your reward in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything written concerning you that is negative, this morning it is cancelled. Akabumia. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The topic is, compensate me, O Lord. I'd like to define, I went to the dictionary and looked at the definition of compensate. It says compensate means to make amends for. To make amends for. That's correcting a mistake. And someone here, 
Like I said, it's prophetic. Every word that pops out of this place for you, if it's yours, just grab it. Grab it seriously. And when you get home, pray about it. That Lord, you spoke concerning me. And this is your word. And I believe it. And it must come to pass. That's what says, if God said it, then I believe it. That settles it. If God said it, and I believe it, that God spoke it. You believe it. It's settled. So to make amends, to make amends, you've been wronged. An amend will be made. You hear of the NSAS stuff going on right now. The judges are looking at the cases and they're making pronouncements. They're giving some people, yesterday I think I heard they gave one nine million and that three million compensation because they messed them up. It's the judge who is saying so. And so we don't have a choice. They have to give it to them. The same way, anyone who is owing you whatsoever that has not released it, I'm talking about this year, not next year, not two years to come, there shall be compensation. It says also the definition of to compensate means to make up for. To make up for. You've been shortchanged. To compensate, compensate means to make up that which they ought to have done for you that they didn't do. The make up for. I see a sister here whose husband has not given you the best deal. You know, doesn't appreciate you. Things that, well, it's no big deal and stuff like that. Yeah, because of this program, by the time you get home, you'll be surprised. He meets you at the door and says, hey, darling. Oh, hi. <laughs> he will make up for it. I say he will make up for it. He's been giving you only 100000 a month before. Now, he will just, as you say, look. Looks as if they say, rice don't increase. But I say, Gary, don't increase. I'll increase your money. 200000 250000 250,000. Compensation is coming for someone in the name of Jesus. It also says to compensate means to counterbalance. To counterbalance. See, to make amends for, to make up for, and to counterbalance. Now, my question is have you been cheated? Have you been defrauded? Have you been discriminated against on the basis of sex or marriage or culture or religion or social status? You were due for something and you didn't get it. They discriminated against you. Are you in that category? You are under a prophetic anointing this morning. There shall be a reversal. I say there shall be a reversal. In the name of Jesus after this meeting, by the time you are going home, you'll be singing, I can see everything. Everything. Turning, turning, turning. Turning around for my good. That will be your testimony. You are already testifying because of the words of your mouth. As a man thinketh, so he speaks. And Numbers 14, 28 says, as you speak in my ears, so I will do. You are receiving whatever you are speaking right now. In the name of Jesus. So, I give you an assurance that God will fight for you. And that shall be a compensation by restoration. Let me just give you one or two examples. One or two examples. Let's look at the example of Hagar. A lady called Hagar. Genesis Chapter 21, verse 14 to 19. Genesis, chapter 21, verse 14 to 19. God bless you. This is a woman who, because she's a bond woman, a slave as it were, was forced into a relationship. God promised Abraham and, I, um, uh, um, and Sarah, you're going to have a child. It was coming too long. They waited over 20 years. And as usual, the woman had a good idea. Look, since this thing is coming slow, we need a child. Let's get one of these slaves. Sleep with her. Let's get a child. 
you know. And of course, as usual, the man, it was convenient for him. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's a very pretty girl. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And that happened. And she was pregnant. And then the baby came. And now the woman changes her mind. This girl is rude now. The, the son is also rude. Let's get rid of this guy. Abraham is like, this is my seed. He's the only one I have. He's the first one I have. Let's not get rid of him. God intervenes. And God says, listen to the woman. This is not the promise. Send them away. So, they send them away. Whose fault? Is it the woman's fault that you took her by force, put her in the way? Is it the child's fault that she's born, he was born in such circumstance, innocent boy? Anyway, we're not judged here, but look at what happened. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Haggai, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba, wandering in the wilderness. No house, no bucateria, nothing whatsoever. And the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. The water will finish. There's nothing that does not finish except the grace of God. Whatever you have now can finish. We've seen rich people that have become poor. There are names in this country, names that denote riches. I don't want to mention, you know, because their families may be here, that denote riches. That's maybe in the 50s. But today, you mention their name, it's just name, nothing. Anything can finish except the grace of God. Praise the Lord. And she went and sat her down over against him, against the child. A good way off. Went far away. Women would hate to see their children die in their hand. They would hate it because of the troubles, the pain of the child. So she's like, I'm not going to see you die. Let me just walk away. Walk away. And occasionally she will look back. Whether she's still breathing. It must be agonizing. That period. For she said, let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lifted up her voice to God and wept. We don't know what she was praying. But I can imagine that she might be saying, it's not my fault, you know. I'm a slave. They forced me into it. They didn't ask my consent. My parents didn't know about it. Oh, Lord, but see what's going on. My, my only child, you know. And now look at this. And God heard the voice of who? Who was praying? Who? who Haggai was praying. Who was God answering the prayer? Did, did we hear that the boy, the young boy was praying? God hears all things. Whether they are verbalized or not. The woman could be, a com, could be complicit in the matter. She may be complicit, yeah? She probably could have refused and said, no, I'm not. You want to kill me, kill me. Yeah? She had a choice, but she did. She agreed. So she's complicit. But the child is innocent. True or false? The child is not responsible for being born in that place. That's why everybody may be crying. But God heard the child. And for those of us who ill-treat children and thinking that God is not seeing you, take note. Again, let me move out there. I'm not, I'm not preaching really. I just want to punch a few things out here. So God heard the voice of the Lord. And an angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not. Although I know the circumstance. God said, I know the circumstance, but fear not. God had heard the voice of the lad, where you put him. Verse 18. Arise, lift up the lad, hold him in thy hand, for I will make him a great nation. It's God who's speaking here. And God opened the eyes and she saw. What did she see? What was she looking for? She had, what did she have in her hand? A bottle 
of water. So in other words, the maximum she can get is a bottle of water. But what did God give her? Is somebody catching a revelation here? I don't care what you're looking for. I know that what you're going to get on this day of compensation is going to be bigger than what you expect. Bigger than all my problems. Bigger than anything. God is bigger than every mountain. I, I cannot, cannot see. see. I say, bigger than all my problems. Oh, bigger, bigger than, than anything. Everything. God, God is, is bigger than every mountain. I cannot, cannot see. He was looking for a bottle of water. Because she was abandoned. But God caught up with her and gave her more than she required. Are you ready to pray? You can sit down there if you like. You can stand. You can stand. It doesn't matter. Open your mouth and say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. Let me not take regrettable steps in any relationship, in any business. Order my footsteps in the name of Jesus. Father, let me not take any regrettable step in the name of Jesus. The step that will end in police station, the step that will end my marriage, the step that will end me in death, I will not take that step in the name of Jesus. The billionaire took a step that ended his life. He is a billionaire, but he has died for nothing's sake. The girl took a step an undergraduate that ended her career, they probably will sentence her to life imprisonment. Let me not take a step. If you remain small, make that marriage you Cancel him if you know, say, you know, go give me, you know, go pay me. Anything that will not pay me. Cancel. Order my footsteps. Order my footsteps in the Lord. Order my footsteps in the Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, Father, at every point of abandonment, let me see you come for my help in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth every point that you seem helpless. Where you are abandoned, it looks as if there is no help. Oh Lord, be a help for me in my exams in the school, in my admission, wherever that I seem hopeless and helpless, come for my help in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. The Bible says Naomi, Naomi and her husband Elimelech, the, the, you know, in the book of Ruth, they took a step out of Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the house of peace, house of bread, and they went to Moab to look for money. When they got the, to that country, first thing, the husband died. She was left with the two children. She thought that's the worst that will happen to her. So she told the two boys, um, Malon and Chileon, go and marry, go and marry, so we can increase. They, they obeyed. They married both of them. After marriage, Peking never come. Two, two of the boys, they died. She was left with nothing. She had to go back home. No husband. No children. Except foreigners. She lost everything. They took a step to, the, to Moab. But he came back without anything. I don't know where you came from. Maybe you came from Monicha. Or you came from Kaduna. Or you came from Mugbosho, wherever you have come to, to Lagos, you will not return empty handed. In the name of Jesus, say Jehovah, Jehovah, I will not suffer loss in this land. I will not lose my husband. I will not lose my children. I will not know their grave. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to God. This land that I have come. I may not be a negotiant, but I will go home with everything that I have worked for. I will, my husband will not die. My wife will not die. I will not bury my children. I will not know the grave of my children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Lastly, for that point, Haggai got more than she was praying for. You are going to talk to God. Say, oh Lord. 
I mean as in, oh Lord. Today, meet me at the point of my need. Give me double for my troubles. Give me double for my troubles. Meet me at the point of my need today. Today, meet me at the point of my need. I will not go here empty. I will not leave here empty handed. Ah, do not allow me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go empty handed. Do not allow me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go empty handed. Double for my trouble. Double, 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 double. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Please be seated. Please be seated. Another example I want to give you of someone who was compensated. Of course, you know that the, 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 the Haggai was compensated with water. And um, the Naomi was also compensated when they went back home. And uh, they became the projecting, progenitor of, of Jesus Christ. So they were compensated. All right, but I don't want to stress that aspect. Let's look at another story. A man called Mordecai. Mordecai was brought as a slave when Jerusalem fell down. They brought them to Babylon as a slave. Esther chapter 6, verse 1 to 13. Esther chapter 6, verse 1 to 13. I'll just read one to three or so. The rest you can read. It's a story that you know. These, they came as slaves. And so they were using him as a gate man. And so he stays at the gate of the king doing gate man job. God knows the kind of a thing that he was doing when he was home. In a strange land. That's happening to some of us. What we used to be. Because things happen. Now, 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 how, how do they say it now? Now, now, now death make crayfish bend. No, so, or how do they say it? Eh? Eh? Condition. Now condition. I make for a crayfish bend. Crayfish don't bend before. Oh. Now condition. They can't see you now. They talk to you anyhow. You say, no be your fault. <laughs> no be your fault. Eh? No be your fault. Eh? Condition. Make crayfish bend. Did Mordecai come out for a house where he said, I ain't be, you know, or got for a house. Come become get man. One guy called Haman. We say him be chief. When they come there, others they bend down. He no use to that kind of a thing for their own place now. And so he, he said they make it younger. I go show you. You I'm gonna kill you. I don't build Galo, I go take kill you. Now look at where God appeared to this man. On that night, there's always a day when things must change. For somebody here, today is your day. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Mandalika Santa Liboshka. I said, today, now your day. On that night, could not the king sleep? All those who must do you good, your divine helpers. Those when God said, now they go help you to move forward. And they have not done it. Anywhere they day now, in the name of Jesus, they don't no, no go sleep. I said, they don't no go sleep. If they sit down, they will not be comfortable. When they stand up, they will not be comfortable. Until they have done it for you. Shout a better amen. That night, the king could not sleep. The king commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. Bring book. Let me just read the read book. And they were read before the king. As they opened the book like this, the first name where they see now Mordecai owned. Ah, in heaven, as they are opening pages now for compensation, open pages now. At the first name they go see Austin Okiwe. Now my name, now I'm going to go first see. I said they don't open my own right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The book of the Chronicles were open, and it was found written down that Mordecai had told of Bigthana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to, to lay hand on King Ahasuerus. The king said, what honor and dignity have been done to this Mordecai for this thing that he has done? God remember him. <laughs> this thing where you don't do it, the things you don't forget. Do good always. Because one day, 
the Bible says, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Don't stop doing it. Don't say they'll be yeah, yeah, but I don't go do it again. Do it, do it. One day, go be one day, like today for you. What have they done? They said to the king, then said the king's servants to minister unto him, that there is nothing done for him. Verse 4. Verse 4. I will now stop there. And the king said, who is in the court? Now Haman, the enemy, was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king. To do what? In the gallow which he himself has. The guy don't make the plan finish. He's a big man. He don't dig the gallow. He said, I'll just go and tell the king because he, he, I, he has my ears. See this man here? He's a bad man. And you know in a foreign now, came from Jerusalem. He, he's abusing you. Let's go and hang him. He has finished the plan. All those who have planned for you, negative, planned for your children, you don't know, but they don't finish the plan, no. I stand behind the altar of the Most High God. God will frustrate them. The Bible says, he that dig a pit. Abi, they, don't, those when dig pits for you. Hello? Now then go enter inside. Okoto Oburu. Ederu Agberuwe. In the name of Jesus. Beregbe. Otami Beregbe. Hello. Beregbe. Otami Beregbe. Eru Todi. Lati Pamile Ku. Eru Todi. Lati Shemile. Ah. I'm serious. It's prophetic. You cannot remain this way. I said you don't go remain this way. They don't go plan. The guy don't go plan finish. Look, give me verse 5. I have a temptation here. I just want you to see it. Although you can read when you get home. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman is standing at the court. And the king said, Bring him inside here. And Haman came in, thinking, I will kill this man today. And so Haman came in. And the king said unto him, what shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now, Amman thought in his heart, to whom will the king delight to honor more than myself? Look at an egoistic, proud guy. And Haman answered the king, for the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought custom built, which the king used to wear. And the horse that the king rided upon. And the crown royal which is set upon his head. Verse 9. And let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of the one, the king's most noble princess. That they may, may array the man withal. Whom the king delighted to honor. And bring him on a horseback. <laughs> Riding on a horse through the streets. Everybody will be saying, Kabi is you. And proclaim before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Then the king said to Amman, Make haste, take the apparel and the horse, as thou hast said with your mouth. Do even so. To who? Your enemy go recommend your promotion. In the name of Jesus. He said, do it to Mordecai. No, no, no. That seated at the king's gate is, is a gate man right now. I see somebody going from grass to grace. I said, you are going from grass to grace. I see somebody going from no bodification to some bodification. In the name of Jesus. All those who have said to you, who are you? After today's compensation, they will come and say, how are you? In the name of Jesus. That's the story of this man. God remembered him. Are you ready to pray again? Even if it's two 
only uh, two examples that we can get, no problem. I'm, I'm satisfied because you have an understanding that you are in here for a prophetic meeting and that compensation for you is a done deal. God has sealed it already. Hallelujah. God will remember somebody. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. <laughs> Remember me, O oh Lord. Today. Remember me. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. Remember me, O oh Lord. Oh Lord. Today. I cannot do. I cannot do without you, Jesus. I cannot do Say it. Without you. Oh, I, I cannot do without you. Oh, I cannot do. I cannot do without you. Bye bye me. Do without you. I cannot do without you. So do something new. Do something wonderful in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Oh, do something new. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Say, oh Lord. As I stretch my hand to the altar, let my book of remembrance be opened by fire. Now, in the name of Jesus, as I stretch my hands to the altar of the Most High God, let my book of remembrance, everywhere that my container is, everywhere that my business is, everywhere that my children are, in Canada, Wherever they are, everywhere, every school that they are, oh Lord, my hands are on the altar. Open my page. You know what I've been crying about. Every day I'm crying. Every day I'm crying. Remember me, oh God, remember me. Open my book of remembrance. Settle me today. Sort me out today. Compensate me today. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Say, oh Lord. Wherever my divine helpers are, arrest their peace, arrest their sleep until they locate me in the name of Jesus. Wherever my helpers are, arrest their peace, arrest their joy, arrest everything that they, until they remember me, they will call for me. Those I have been running after, they'll begin to run after me, they will run after you. They will write you letters. They will send you texts. They will send you WhatsApp. They will send you everything. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, every Haman, every Haman, resisting my glory, what are you waiting for? Hang by your gallow. In the name of Jesus, every Haman that wants me to hang, what are you waiting for? Hang by your gallow. Okotoburu. Be beruwe. Carry him, carry go. Carry go. Now you go take your head. Carry him. Hey, now you go take your head. Carry him. If you do me jongbe, now you go take your head. Carry him. If you do me otumogbo, now you go take your head. Carry him. You be baba lawo, now you go take your head. Carry him. Oh, everyone oh God almighty, build the gallow for me. Hang by your gallow. Hang by your gallow. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. He, pre he prepared it. He was ready to celebrate. He has told his wife, he has told his friend that something goes shelly. That stupid man, I go show him. He didn't know that God had another plan. For all those planning against you, God will scatter their plan. Otanta canopy. Of a shell, yammy. Kelly, want to bury. Ooh. 
Abadanos. Hey, the last in that category, the guy Haman from Getman. They bring dress, dress time I mean, they wonder, ah, Kilo Shele, what's going on here? Is it a joke or something? Is it a dream? Pinch himself. He pinched himself. He said, wake up, wake up. They carry and put for horse. Ah, king's horse. Carry and they go. Carry and they go. Ha, ma lo, lo, la, la, re, to go, ah, you. Your song will change. Your story will change. When will that happen? Tomorrow. Next year. When will it happen? Say, my father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. You compensated Mordecai. It is my turn today. It is my turn. Oh, Lord, it's my turn. Mordecai was compensated for what he did. Oh, it's my turn. Is it my turn today? It is my turn today. Hey, Father, Father, it is my turn today. It is my turn to smile. It is my turn to smile. Baba, it is my turn to smile. Hey, Father, Father, it is my turn. In Jesus' name we are praying. Please be seated. In our 10 minutes, we'll take just one more. Germans will just take one more. It is done already. I said, your matter is completed already. Oh, oh, oh. Let's look at Job. Let's look at Job. Job chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Job chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Mm, I like the guy on the computer. Sir, his hand is very fast. Tell him. I can't see him where he is. That his miracle will come fast. Yeah. Wherever you are, your miracle will come fast. Yeah. There was a man of the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and ensured evil. Look at his CV. We're not going there today. And there were born unto him seven sons. Three daughters, making ten children. The man tried. The man tried. The, I was ministering somewhere yesterday. It was a youth program. And the guy who was ministering was telling them about his uh, parents and parenting law. That his own parents, comparing the two parents, that his own father was not caring. He was a daddy, not a father. That there's a difference between daddy and father. A daddy is the guy who comes, oh, daddy, 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 you want money, take money, take money, take, go buy Mr. Big, and he's out. Nobody sees him. He, the other, that's his own father. The father of his, in, in, uh, his in-law, very kind, he no get money so much, but at least he showed love to them. And he was telling us, of course, what he do, turn, turned out to. The one who loved the family, the, at the end of the day, he said, they no born picking plenty. Uh, he said, the man had only 13 children. <laughs> but he no born picking plenty, oh. Now 13 only he born. But his own family too, that the, the papa no born picking plenty, but now 12 of them he born. I was wondering, which century is that one? But your in-law, I, I, I was waiting for him to say, so combination of the man who went born 13 and the beginning of the person who went born 12, maybe not 25 he go born. Uh, he said, no, he no born 25. He said, not three only him born. I, I was just I'm wondering. Anyway, so we see a man have 10 children. His substance, let's leave that. He, he had sheep, oxen, everything, he, so much. But one day, only one day, in that scripture you will go read, 
They came and told him, Ah, I like my job. All the sheep, the, the Serbians came, stole everything away. Huh? Before that one finished, another one came. Ah, I like my job. All the camels, they have stolen them away. Huh? At the end of the day, they came and told him that your children, they were partying in a place, their brother's house. The ten of them, they were in the senior brother's house. They were partying. And then a wind came and struck the four corners of the building. He didn't take the roof away. He didn't cave in the, 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 the whatever. He took the, the, the things that are holding the building. Knocked down the pillars, four pillars. And the whole house came down. It came down on the ten children. All ten died. Not a single one is left. Don't look at the, the sentiment of a woman when lose only one child. She will go crazy. She may have three others, but that one when die, she will go crazy. Talk to somebody with the content and say, all the ten when he's born in old age don't die. The, the man then fell down. When the sheep did, he, did, he just said, ah, ah, ah. But when Peking come, the guy landed on the floor. Now, one question I want to ask before I lead you to pray, and this is where we'll be able to stop. We cannot take more than this one. I still, I still have, you know, this Anna, the dear, beautiful story of Anna. <laughs> where God opened his mouth against the enemy. Those days, blah, 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 blah. When Samuel came, pew, on her jailbreak. So, this man, my question, the servant who was serving the ten children, they were there together, was serving them. And the building came down. The ten children died. But the servant came, escaped. To come and tell Job, say, your picking don't die. Question, why didn't the servant die with them? Hello? Look, that's what you call packaging. Packaging in the present world is to touch yourself up, you know? Put the mascara put the rouge, uh, put the, you know, uh -huh, also quiet, also quiet, you know, and when you come out like this, say, no, go, no, say, now you, praise the Lord, uh -huh. that packaging, but packaging in the spirit realm is when people use your name or your children's name and they put it together and they make pronouncements like they made in the, the scripture I gave you in Colossians 2.14, the ordinance, they make a statement or they take it to the tree and they wrote their names on the paper and take it to the tree and they hit it on the tree and they said, these names, these people, they must die the same day. They must die in December. When it is Christmas day, that's when they will die. Or when it is bad, his bad day, that's, when, that's, that's packaging. When they package a thing, even if there's somebody else there, because it's not in that package, you will not be affected. That's what happened. I don't have time to go into that. If we're doing deliverance, we'll explain more about packaging. And I give you scriptures. The same thing happened with Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth, the son of Saul. When Saul, King Saul, the first king of Israel, when he died, they killed all the other children. They killed all the other children in the war. The only small one, seven-year-old Mephibosheth, the nurse carried the boy, to run away, say, make they no kill this one, where they put for my care. As if they carry him, they run away, reach them, mm, now he sleep. They begin, fall down. The Bible says he broke two legs. From there, they carry him, put for wheelchair, transferred him to Lodeba. Lodeba means the back of the desert. Somebody who is in Jerusalem, the king palace, they carry him, go, place like I don't want to mention names because I've mentioned them before and somebody came and said that his mother lived in that area. <laughs> that I, I should not mention that name. Say, now only bad people did they carry go there. Anyway, so he fall down from VGC. I'm uh, 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 from Marana Island. They can't carry and go. You are Nigerian. You know, you know the car area where <laughs> nobody may tell you. Nobody may tell you. They can't carry and go there. The narrative of that child changed. He was living like a poor man. 
If they say you get leg, at least if you walk and waka make money, but he was incarcerated. Now the question I'm talking about packaging. The person will carry him. Now all of them fall together. How come the girl no breaking the nurse no break leg? Now the beginning of Saul. When God don't say this is your family, I go quench all of you now. Now only him, now him break leg. Because the girl is not factored into the package. I stand on the altar of the Most High God. Every evil packaging for you or your family. Casa, Liboska, as the Lord live it, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to yourself. We are ending here. I'm, I'm closing here. Say all evil packaging for me, my children. What are you waiting for? Backfire. Back to sender. 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 Every packaging. Say I go die. That my children don't go die. That they will not prosper. It's a lie. It's a lie. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, much less name, we have prayed. The Bible says an, a wind, an evil wind, went from the evil place to the house and hit the four corners. Specifically, and brought it down. Evil wind. Say, my father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. I command every evil wind every evil wind sent to my home or to my family. What are you waiting for? Return to sender. Every evil wind. Yalaba Santa Liboska. Ah, my children will not die. My home will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. My home will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. In Jesus, much less name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, oh Lord, every root of affliction in my body, in the body of my family members, die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every root of sickness, whether in a malaria or typhoid or heart attack or kidney failure or liver problem, whatever it is, that's an affliction in my body. I command you as the Lord liveth. Yali Bushkaba Santaria. Die by your roots. Die from your roots. In Jesus, much less name, we have prayed. The Bible said the friend of Job, they came to his house, they gathered together to mourn with him. They gathered, they sit down. Oh, Job, they look and the man don't change. They came and they signed condolence register for ten children. Any attempt by anyone to go buy condolence register for a bookshop, say they won't bring them for your house. May they begin to sign because somebody don't die. I frustrate it in the name of Jesus. I frustrate it in the name of Jesus. Say Jehovah. Say Jehovah. Every evil gathering to mourn in my family. As I lift up my hand to heaven, scatter by fire every evil gathering of wicked people to cry, to mourn in my family. My hands are lifted to heaven. Scatter them by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, much less name, we have prayed. Say every satanic book, every satanic book of condolence open for my family i tear you to pieces i burn you to ashes in the name of jesus tear to pieces burn to ashes every book of condolence that they buy for me is a lie there shall be no condolence in my home every shout in my home shall be the shout of hallelujah it shall be the shout of praise the lord so shall it be thank you my father in jesus much less name we have prayed yeah. lastly and the lastly god came in job chapter 42 
Verse 10, to compensate Job. The Bible says everything he lost, God gave him twice. Everything you have missed, everything you have been cheated of, everything you have lost in business, everything you have lost in the family, receive it double. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord. That's the topic of our, of, of our, of our meeting today. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Compensate me. For every loss I have suffered, give me double for my trouble today in the name of Jesus. Compensate me, oh Lord, compensate me. Every loss, like Job, give me double for my trouble. Give me double for my trouble. Give me double for my trouble. Me for my trouble. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. I'm closing the meeting now. We don't have time to talk about what are the things that you ought to do to be able to get, because my, my, time, my time is spent. But I believe God that he who has started this good job now, he will finish it. There's someone here on your way home. God is going to minister to you. There's another person I see in my spirit. As you get home, there is an anointing waiting now in your home. The anointing will hit you. There will be a performance of the word. In the name of Jesus. However, there is someone here, the Lord said I should tell you, and I have only five seconds to give that message. That the reason why I have delayed your compensation is because of what he called uh, unforgiven spirit. Somebody hurt you badly and you have found it difficult to forgive the person. You are carrying that person even till now that this person, uh, mm, I'm going to revenge. God says, at this meeting where he is actually distributing compensation, if you agree that I will forgive the person, I will just let him go because I'm stopping myself actually. I will let him go. If you decide that now, God spoke to my spirit that if you count 30 days, 30 days from today, that thing that you have been asking for, that he will put it in your hand. You're here. You ought to make that commitment with God. I will pray when I'm done. Maybe when you're going home, you come to the altar, put your hand on the altar and say, Lord, I release the person. I release let your mercy give me what I desire. That's all. One second, and then you go home. That's the instruction that I have. That if you are in that category of somebody wronged you, and you have not forgiven the person, maybe a, a, you know, a husband or an in-law or whatever, or whatever. Anyway, if you're here, you have not surrendered your life to Christ, it's difficult to be compensated. You have to know he who gives compensation. The Bible says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest is only in Christ. You can try and try and try, you, you won't be able to make it. Mordecai tried, he didn't make anything until God intervened. You want God to intervene in your life. All of us on the altar, we have gone through that stage, me in particular. My own is even so sad. <laughs> if I was God, it would be difficult to forgive us the kinds of the things that I have done. Man has gone through the war, the Biafran war. For, you know the kind of thing that we did during the war. All kinds of things. Drink, smoke, Indian hemp, everything. Women, everything. And it's like this guy is a hopeless situation, but God had mercy on me. And he's using me today. And he can use any other person. So you're here. You want to surrender your life to Christ. You say, look, I've tried and I've, I've failed. Let me just give my life to Christ. And I'm not talking about coming to church. You may have been coming to church for four years. And you have not surrendered your life to Christ. There has to be a definite resolution. So to do that today, I give it up to you. If you're in that category, all eyes are closed. Just lift your hand above your head. I want to pray with you as I leave. I've overspent my time by five minutes. You're here, you want to surrender your life to Christ. You're a student, you're a worker, you're whatever. There's nothing to be ashamed about. He says, if you're ashamed of me, 
I'll be ashamed of you too when your calamity comes. Is anyone in the house? You're so, you're, let me see your hand well, properly over your head. There's nothing to, there's no, there's no shame. You are giving it to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. All right, ushers, help me. No one here. All right, Father in heaven, we thank you. We we'll give you praise, O God, because you are God. When you, when you speak, the Bible says it is done. When you command, it stands fast. You have spoken that today is the day of compensation for all of your children who have, O oh God, cried unto you for compensation, one thing or the other. Baba, before they exit, let there be a performance in the name of Jesus. After today, by next Sunday, let them come with their testimonies. And for your son who have surrendered his life today, oh God Almighty, the prayers that he has prayed today and the ones that are outstanding before the end of today as a gift for him, surrendering his own life unto you, Baba, give unto him in the name of Jesus. You will go far. I said you will go far in the name of Jesus. Your story will change. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. At your appearing, all of us count us worthy to reign with you. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Oh,